Hey everybody, here's Evan Weaver, Cal linebacker, interviewed at the Combine. Here is his unofficial, official time for the National Football League. 40 yard dash, 4.76 seconds, bench press, 15 reps, vertical jump, 32 inches, broad jump, 117 inches, no three cone or 20 yard shuttle. Uh, evaluation written by a man by the name of Lance uh, Zerlene is a little uh, weird. Um, let me explain by reading it. Rambunctious tackle sponge and perennial grudge holder. That's how it starts off. Who lives to prove people wrong. Weaver certainly doesn't look the part of an all-American inside backer in the uniform, but he lives for football and plays every snap with urgency. Uh, this is written by a, a person who obviously didn't see Weaver play. So let me, the strengths are obvious, you know, feels, blocks, finds, uh, weaknesses, won't be a head turner on the beach. I mean, that's how it starts out. He won't be a head turner on the beach. Uh, okay. Built like an undersized center with stubby arms and fleshy midsection. Lack of speed offers little, I mean, this is, you know, not sudden enough to be an NFL hitter from a guy who probably was never hit by him. I, look, this is a god-awful evaluation. Cal fans know what Evan Weaver can do, straight out. He led the league in tackles. He led the nation in tackles. He led the nation in tackles. And the one aspect of an NFL player's game that few personnel evaluators, either official personal evaluators or amateur would-be personnel elevator, uh, evaluators seem to factor in is adrenaline the, and the ability of the mind to activate adrenaline to make a play. Evan Weaver has a unique ability to activate his adrenaline, to power his body, to a performance level that does not show up on camera or on tape. That is the only reason to explain his extraordinary play over his college time at University of California at Berkeley. So when someone evaluates Weaver and doesn't factor in a way to explain his extraordinary performance, they have misdiagnosed him. If I'm the Raiders, I get him in round two. Does he fall to three? Maybe with his performance, maybe, but I doubt it. If I'm with the 49ers, I don't let him leave the San Francisco Bay Area. If I'm the Dallas Cowboys, I definitely get him. I think that Evan Weaver can be an incredible 4-3 middle linebacker. I think he is that capable. I think he'll work that much harder to be the effective starter and prove a lot of people wrong. He has that in his, his mind. He always believes he's the underdog. In fact, and his circumstances lead him to be fed that idea. For example, at the combine, was he at a podium? No, he was at a table. So he got interviewed by maybe a handful of media people including myself because, hey, I was looking to make sure he was talked to. Uh, his teammate Ashton Davis got a podium and Ashton will be drafted very high. But Evan will come into the league feeling like he was misdiagnosed by a lot of people who uh, think that being a great football player automatically means that they can tell you're a great football player by the way you look. And that is not how you evaluate how good a person is at football. Subscribe to Zenny62 at YouTube and go Bears.